I'm Sarah Wilkinson. I'm one of the Community Partnership Managers at the Open University in the North West. And today we're at Longsite Library. We've invited along all the partners who we've worked with over the last year. And the reason we've chosen Longsite Library is we've been doing some partnership work with the Adult Education Service here and with some of the voluntary community organisations in Longsite. Although this area is maybe only a couple of miles from Manchester city centre, where there are several large universities, it's one of the areas where we feel people need some extra support to get back into higher education. Longsite's a great community to work in, it's a very diverse community, and we have students coming from all over the world. We have students who were born in countries like Pakistan, Libya, Iraq, who come to us for advice about how they can study in the UK. People face many barriers, social barriers, financial barriers, and we're here to support those people to think about studying at a higher education level. So first of all, our OU mission, you may know that the OU is open to people, places, methods and ideas. And our aim is to, pr to promote educational opportunity and social justice through the provision of high quality higher education so that anyone who wishes to reach their potential is able to do so. It is only through partnerships with people like you that we become truly accessible to disadvantaged communities. And widening, particip widening participation through education, um, through reaching into local communities, is absolutely at the heart of what the OU is about and wants to be about in the future. Um, and so our partnerships with you are critical to helping us reach through to those communities. Um, we set up this programme to create opportunities for students who have ability and have potential but perhaps would never have thought of coming to university um, and to people who perhaps wouldn't be able to come to university in the traditional um, way in which universities usually offer courses. Um, so we work with partners in local organisations and we take the university to the student. So we go to students when it's difficult for students to come to us. Well, openings are short, introductory courses um, and they enable people to have a taste of really of different subject areas um, but also to have a taste of the Open University, get an idea of what studying at higher education is like. Yeah, very much. It's um, a sort of entry level, if you like, into higher education and I think what's different about the openings courses is also that study skills and support is very much embedded in the, the sort of pack the materials that students would get. So it's a much more supported way of getting back into learning at that level. Um, what's different as well is that students have one-to-one -one contact with their tutor, so they've got them on the end of the telephone, um, whether they like that or not really, so that's sort of the additional support that may not happen in other types of courses in the OU as well. Our aim is to work with the communities to try and base uh, aspirations in higher education, and we do that through, through partners. And why we do that is because we want to give our students a positive, a positive experience of education. As I said previously, I meet a lot of people who had a really bad time at school. We didn't enjoy it, maybe went to college, didn't enjoy that. So what we're trying to do is try and prepare some of, some of those, those gaps and try and give people a positive experience. So in the North West, we work with a variety of different uh, organisations like schools, children's centres, um, colleges. Um, we do some work with trade unions and lots of different community and voluntary sector organisations. We try and look right across the area and see which organisations actually link with people in the community. And through that, you've got access to our potential learners. So lots of people come in and you might know that they might aspire to, to progress. And so we can link with you to try and contact those people. Set up with the support of the Mount Martin Luther King Foundation They're from the United States. And it was really to address some of the issues in the local community. We're based in the Toxteth area of Liverpool. And a lot of people there are disadvantaged. Um, many have multiple barriers. It's a very diverse area, very cosmopolitan. And many people are um, at a disadvantage in getting employment, training and education. And we were set up really to address some of those issues. And this is really help those people in particular uh, to go into higher education where they felt that the door has been closed in the past it's now open and it's open quite wide as well and there are many people walking through that door uh, for example we've engaged with 104 people in a very short period of time we've all expressed an interest in higher education all of whom would normally have not even thought about higher, higher education 
So I feel that um, certainly Open University have helped us and hopefully we can help them. Uh, um, my name's Nikki, I work for the Skills for Families team, um, which incorporates family learning worker, uh, job centre and Blue Orchid self-employment. Us, I think, because of the Open University's reputation for providing a quality service and its flexibility. Um, plus, um, you know, the, the clients that we work with, the parents, um, they can then take their education into their home. So, that's very important to them and the flexibility. Uh, I'd say as well that the partnership programmes are a real bridge between the communities, between individuals out there that might not know about the Open University or just, you know, as we keep hearing people think that's not for me, I couldn't do it. So I think they really are the bridge and they're the door in sort of thing and we're there waiting for them. So the partnerships work actually does the the big warm welcome and hopefully bring people in and we're there to support that in the background as well. to a university so we work with the individual and, and really start at grassroots so an individual may not feel like the, the university is for them so they might have, might have confidence issues so we need to build their confidence they may not have the uh, academic skills so we need to build up the literacy skills numeracy skills so what we do is we work with a range of partners um, to, to sort of bring in the ingredients that a learner would need to be able to reach their potential and build up you know, various skills to be successful in uh, becoming a, an OU student. I really, uh, been, I've been involved with the Open University for a number of years now and uh, I really think that this is one area of where the Open University can really make a difference to people's lives in terms of giving people uh, the opportunity to study at a higher education level and importantly, uh, giving them some sort of uh, boost to their self-confidence. Uh, it's very important for the, the, the university to be as open as possible and people that not, would, would not normally um, you know, go directly to the open university are still potential learners. So it, working with communities, it helps the, the open university to recognise the needs of non-traditional learners. To make us accessible we need a magic ingredient and it's not at all easy to find actually um, and we're very lucky to have a lot of that magic ingredient in the room today actually because you know we know that that magic ingredient is you uh, you are the people who you know, live and work <coughs> in the communities that we need to be able to reach into you are the people the individuals in those communities work with that they trust and it's through your commitment to social justice and your commitment to higher education and your relationships at an individual level with those people that enables us to do the work that we do in your communities. It, it really goes back to where the Open University started, uh, uh, open to people, open to places, uh, and it really uh, helps the Open University keep in touch with its constituents and also, um, as I said before, it just helps people to sort of get, uh, get 
get an understanding uh, of study at higher education, at university level. And what Community Partnerships Programme does is to enable us to have direct contact with students living in the communities that we're trying to target and for us to understand in detail those students' experiences and their life experiences, their life contexts, to understand um, what their abilities are and also what the reasons are why they might not usually consider university. And it gives us the really detailed ability to follow um, individual students um, working in partnership with individual organisations to understand what their needs are and how we can support them better.